I have this simple link sensor tag for a while now and I was able to run some of the examples but I have never been able to, to program it because I didn't have a debugger. But yesterday I found this in the post sent by a friend of uh, Element 14. That's the debugger that comes with the sensor tag. So from now on I'll be able to program it and change its behavior. Um, the first thing to be able to mount the sensor tag when it's in its case is that I have to remove a piece of plastic here. So I'll start with that and once that's done uh, I'll, I'll mount the debugger and do some programming. I have to remove this piece of plastic here so that we have access to the debug port and once that's done you can mount the sensor tag and then mount the uh, debugger on top of that. So that's done, the piece of plastic is removed and we now have access to the debug port once we mount the sensor tag in the, in the plastic case. And this is what it looks like when everything is done. Uh, the sensor tag beautiful in its housing and the debugger on the back side. Uh, which we can connect to a computer and then start programming it. The first thing you do after plugging in the debugger is to check the getting started guide and see what you have to do. And uh, the first thing they ask is to install the XDS110 uh, drivers. Uh, fortunately for me on my computer it's already done so I have uh, everything here. I have the right drivers and my uh, sensor tag is recognized immediately by my computer. I had some issues after I plugged the sensor tag into the debugger. Uh, there is a tool that you use to uh, program the sensor tag. It's a smart RF flash, flash programmer and it didn't recognize my uh, sensor tag. I looked uh, on the internet and I found in the E2E forum that there is a solution. So there was another person who was unable to connect the sensor tag. And the reason is that the firmware on the dev pack is too low. And you can find here the instructions on what to do. Uh, you have to go to your Code Composer Studio folder and execute two commands uh, related to the, the debug emulator, the JTAG emulator. Uh, once you've done that, the sensor tag is recognized in the Smart RF programmer and we can download the latest uh, firmware onto the sensor tag. And that's something I'm going to do now live together with you. Voila, that worked. So we have the latest of the latest firmware now on the sensor tag itself. And once I upgraded the firmware on the sensor tag, I was also able to connect my computer to it. Uh, that was not possible. So in the past, my computer could always detect the sensor tag, but it would, could never pair. And that works now. If I have a look at my uh, device manager, you'll see that the sensor tag is now appearing under the Bluetooth devices. And now that we have everything perfectly set up, let's do our first program. I'm going to use Texas Instruments Cloud Tools, the Resource Explorer and Code Composer Studio Cloud to do the first test. And uh, the Resource Explorer has an example for our sensor tag. The example has two sub projects in there. There is the, the sensor tag tag stack which is the BLE stack uh, we don't need to run that because it's already loaded to the sensor tag and we also have the application that's the example that talks to all the sensors on board and puts their payload into the BLE messages uh, so I have already preloaded those two projects in Code Composer Studio by pressing on this cloud button and I've also preloaded the sensor tag stack library so now Let's do a change on the sensor tag project so that we can see that we're really loading something that we've done ourselves. And I will replace the CC2640 here by my name and uh, compile the project and load it to the sensor tag. Once everything is compiled and loaded, the Code Composer Studio Cloud automatically resets the tag and we can start browsing the attributes. Hopefully we see uh, this Jan sensor tag uh, string appearing in the browser. Everything is compiled. Let's flash it to the sensor tag. The board has done its reset and it's now advertising its name. So I should be able to find it here in my browser. Uh, here it is, sensor tag. I'll connect to it. I'll discover all the attributes and we'll also read all the attributes and then go search for that particular string that I've entered with my name on it. Here we have the model number string. If I click on that one, I should find the text that I have just entered here in the Code Composer Studio Cloud. So what we've proven now is 
that we are able to use the debugger and to compile, build, load our own project to the sensor tag. Achievement unlocked. This is what I wanted to do. I am able to program the sensor tag and I'm able to sniff the attributes that I've set myself. In the next installment, I'm going to try the non-cloud code composer studio and see if I can build load and debugger program via that. And I'll also try my first baby steps to talk to the onboard sensors. So see you next time.